Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a few days ago, 7 Days to Die dropped a new update. It's still experimental version, but as soon as I saw the new patch note, I was all in. Why? Because they made a bunch of change to stealth. And if you've seen my stealth series video, you know I have been saying that stealth needs some balancing. I mean, I love stealth, but it felt a bit OP. In version 1.0, if you pair a stealth build with the assassin's armor set, Especially in the late game, it was like the zombies were just target practice. You didn't even need a good weapon. You just continuously to attack them until they eventually die. Fun? Yes. Balance? Not so much. Well, guess what? I got what I asked for. They changed it. But is it a good change? Is this a balancing or a straight up nerf? I'll let you be the judge. Let's dive into what's new with stealth in this new patch. I might have missed a few things, but here's what stood out for me. First up, they fixed stealth ambient light value. It was too dark, I guess. And then they add stealth is less affected by player movement and ramps up over time. Which, okay, I think it means please stop moving around like a maniac. <laughs> okay, honestly, I feel like this addition doesn't change stealth play that much. There are other stuff that they change that affects stealth play more. Next is that player stealth meter is green when no alert entities are near you. Otherwise, it turns yellow. So the color change in stealth meter is actually pretty useful for you to keep track of the zombie state. About the zombie state, I will explain further on in the video. That's all they fix and add about stealth. Now let's talk about the change. First is a bit of change to the player's UI. They say improve player stealth UI to be twice as sensitive to light, half to sound, and round up value. So I guess there's gonna be a different number now showing up on your stealth meter. Next is balance stealth world and block ambient light. So when I first read this, I immediately remember the US Army base. There is one hallway where your stealth meter would go crazy if you play in it at daytime. And I test it. Yes, they change it. It's better for a stealth player to go on those kind of area now. Next, AI alert timer start after investigation end and with some random variation. Okay, here a quick zombie lesson for this 1.1 version. First, the sleeping zombies, aka your best friends if you are into stealth. They are basically kind of free kill if you're playing stealth, if you can one shot them. Then there are hunting zombies on the opposite end, which they either spawn like that or get into that state when you wake them up or attack them. They will chase you like you are free food. Well, technically you are. And here's where things get interesting. When a zombie loses sight of you during a chase, it will go into an investigation state. They will wander around searching for you in the last spot they saw you. Then, if they don't find you for quite some time, they will go into alert state, where they are on edge but no longer looking for you. Now, in paper, they are sleeping, hunting, investigating and alert state so far that i can see they mentioned in the patch note but after editing i would like to add wandering state because now they add color to your stealth meter and there's change from alert to wandering from stealth meter color yellow to green so i would just add this state to distinguish the two however for me personally when i test it i don't see the difference between wandering state and alert state these zombie aside from sleeping state they are very sensitive in this patch to everything you do and i would show later on in the video so the difference between alert stage and wandering stage i can see so far is just they change your stealth meter okay i hope it's easy to understand now we go back to other changes Increase assassin and broke outfit sneak effectiveness. So assassin and broke outfits now have better sneak effectiveness stat. Um, if you check the base value of 1.0 version, it will be 20%, but now it's go up to 30% in the 1.1 version. Next is reduce distance from radius that AI pick 
to investigate near the target. So this one is like the radius for a zombie investigation is smaller. They kind of gonna wander precisely around the place they last seen you. So if you hide well, you will get better shot of losing them. Okay, here come the balancing. Balance player stealth enemy search duration reduction from perks and armor. And balance stealth effectiveness for all combinations of perks, armor, and light levels. And by balance, I mean nerf, probably. So I try to compare the two versions. When I opt out to compare it to version 1.0, I didn't notice any difference in the description for armor and perks. The armor stat changed though. They definitely changed that. But even the description stayed the same and I don't have hard numbers for you. Trust me, something has changed. I spent a few hours over the weekend testing out still in this new experimental version. So how did it go, Meow? Well, let's break it down. For sleeper zombies, not much has changed from 1.0. I think the perk nerf and outfit buff kinda cancel each other out. The sleeper zombie still snoring away, waiting for you to shoot them in the head. For hunting zombies, there's difference. In 1.0, if you woke up a sleeper zombie, they would just stand there like, huh? What? What just happened? Now in 1.1, if you wake them up, they will hunt you down. No more standing around, confused, they will hunt. If you lose the line of sight, they will investigate for a while, then switch to alert mode. They won't go back to sleep though. For trigger zombie, it's still the same. Aggro at you, run to you, you need to break the line of sight and let them cool off. Sounds great, right? They balance now, they are not just standing there doing nothing. Except, here's the catch. When zombies are in alert mode, they become super sensitive. I assume that is the result after they nerf from the shadow perks because they said they balance perks. Zombie will snap back to hunt you at the slightest sound. I'm gonna let you judge it from the clip. If you have distance, you can shoot them, move away, lose light of sight. They will kinda confuse and you can play around with the hidden bonus. But you will need space to play it. If you're in a closed room like this, it's quite hard for you to move around to lose him. So you will kinda need to face the zombies. Okay? Shoot them. But that guy on the right is not waking up even I make this much sound. For sleeper spawn, as you can see, I wake this guy up, I can play around, walk near them, shoot a bit, and they're still not gonna wake up. So, in this version, for sleeper spawn, they're kinda not sensitive. It's kinda the same as 1.0. So here's the difference. This one is gonna be sleeper spawn, but when I shoot this guy, <laughs> Everyone gonna wake up and hunt me, so I'm not sure of what's the different at the moment. Like some places they do that, and in another place they don't do that, so it's kind of inconsistent. So it might be a different kind of spawn for this group of zombies. And now I'm gonna show why it's quite a problem for stealth build, especially in this area. So I don't have the luxury of space, sorry. I don't have the luxury of space to play around that much. I only have this room. And as you can see, some zombies already wake up and wander around. This, this kind of zombie is really sensitive. It's like, I don't even know if it's called alert state or what. They just wander around and they're kind of sensitive. If I start shooting, I'm using bow at the moment. Okay. If I start shooting, I might call many, many of them. One shot, okay, one shot. Two shot, three shot. How many is coming at me right now? But when you compare it to like normal spawn like this, they're not waking up yet. Even after all the commotion I just did outside. 
Yeah, I just used one shot of bow and these people come here at me. I definitely have from the shadow level 5 and this is the result. One shot. How many zombies following me right now? I can go further. But what's the difference? That's... This is how it's go right now. For sleeper zombie again. Yep, you can just shoot close to them. And they will just still sleep. But this thing is similar to... In previous alpha, alpha 20, alpha 21. They behave like this. Okay, this is a trigger spawn. So, that is the place that they last seen me. Okay, at that door. They heard me upgrading the block there, so they should just stop around there. They're not gonna wander far because the chain is like reducing the radius of their wandering. So, yep, they're gonna stay around there. But the point is, even they are not alert right now, as you can see, it's green on my stealth meter. If I open the door, they're so far away from them. They're gonna come to me. <laughs> you open the door, you shoot an arrow. I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about shooting guns. It's too loud. It's will it will drag the whole group to you. Nothing is alert. It's green, so no one is alert. I'm gonna put and they're gonna aggro again yep i'm just gonna close a bit and then i'm gonna loot this thing <laughs> it's gonna come back so basically i feel like there's several actions that you can't do if you're stuck in a small poi in a small room you are out of luck because you don't have the luxury of space for you to hide to run around to play with the hidden time bonus and even you can do it when they group together it's quite challenging to deal with them because as soon as you attack them or doing things the whole group will come at you i tried to split them up but it took so long to separate the alert group of zombies one by one i end up getting so bored and just shooting at them and yeah i tried throwing stones but instead of splitting them up it just grouped them up together is it that bad though personally i would say not bad for vanilla players it's kind of a little bit balancing it might be challenging for stealth player in maybe a good way if you like this kind of thing but for me or all the players that playing on insane nightmare versions on difficulty it feels like we are back to alpha 21 Sure, you get assassin armor hidden bonus, but the zombies are too sensitive now. Even my little bow can trigger the whole horde, let alone auto type guns. You better off just running and gunning, just to save your gaming time. But yeah, that was my test run. I might miss something, but that's just the first impression of few hours trying stealth in 1.1. Experimental version. So meow. Are you going to still playing still? Of course, yes. Why? Because 7 Day to Dice offer me such a unique stealth experience that I couldn't get from other game. I mean, I could run and gun in 7 Day to Die also because yes, the first thing, the first build I do in 7 Day to Die is also run and gun. But for me personally, I fell in love with stealth experience and if I really want to do run and gun, I got auto FPS game for that. So yes, I can shoot, okay? I can shoot, I guess. When I wanna pew pew people or NPC, I will go for those games. But when I'm in the mood for sneaky sneaky thing, 7 Days to Die is the game that I choose to play it. Even though they might nerf stealth to the ground, I'm still gonna play stealth. Why not? Okay, enough testing, I will go back to my series and keep playing stealth in version 1.0 stable, where stealth is still OP. And we will see how things check out in 1.1 when it comes out in stable version. 
Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a comment below about your thoughts on these changes. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!